Now it's pans at the ready today, but if you've never beaten an egg, let alone flipped a pancake, then help is at hand. I got some expert advice when I visited Faffy's French Creperie in Dublin, who say the key is to rest your batter. You can see the salmon is getting cooked now. Mm, yeah. So now it's time to fold it. Chef Jerome Fernandez has been making savoury crepes from his grandmother's recipe in Brittany for decades. And this morning here at his restaurant, Faffy's in Dublin, we've come for tips on how to make the perfect pancake. Because though it looks easy, there is an art to it. This would be a mix for how many people? Uh, one person? Say we do like uh, maybe four or five, you know, like with one egg, yeah? On very thin and uh, medium sized uh, okay. crepe, okay? So mix a little bit the egg. You add just a little bit of flour, uh, sugar, sorry. As I say, a good amount. Um, and that's a small batch, uh, just to have an idea. Now you need to make sure the sugar is well dissolved, you know, uh, within the eggs. And that's very important for the mix. And what you do, you add your milk. Tiny bit of milk like that. Now that's a basic. Once you have that, then you can add your flour, but very slowly and gently. Did you sieve the flour? Uh, yes, I did, yeah. Like it's easier for you, you know, especially when you don't do that all the time. So for consistency, you just go like a, a lot at the first time. This is getting thicker very quick. But with the whisk, there's no problem. And that, now, when the mix is done, what's very important is the rest. So you rest it maybe for, you know, like a, at least an hour in the fridge. And then when you put it out, you add a little bit of melted butter. And the melted butter will make it nice and, uh, how can I say that, you know, uh, smooth. So this was in the fridge okay. for an hour? Yeah, it was in the fridge. You mix it back up again? You, you, you mix it, you finish up with a little bit of butter, and then now it's ready to go. Now you need to make sure like your pan needs to be in medium heat, not too low or else it's not going to take any color or not too high or else it's going to stick to your fry pan. How much butter did you put on? Uh, to apply in there? Into the I, frying pan? Oh, in the fry pan, just a tiny bit. Uh, you know, even sometimes people apply olive oil. Now if you have a pan, you need to roll your pan. You know, to make sure it goes everywhere and it's going to cook like equally on okay. every side. Now in here, it's different because what I want to do is, you know, I want to have a nice different type of color. So again, you know, I apply very slowly and I'll go around like that. And I don't make it too big because at home, like you won't have a big, huge fry pan. So that's it. Now it's nice. Yeah, quite thin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you want to find again the crispiness on the edge. So I apply butter. You can do the same at home. You know, nice, a little bit of butter on the edge. And then you let it cook very slowly. Uh, what you do with your spatula, you go to the side like that to make sure it doesn't stick to it. But like if you have a nice fry pan, it shouldn't like... Uh... Oh, here we go. Now we apply, you know, the garnish. That's the spice apple. So a little bit of spice apple. Be careful, don't put too much juice. But you want to fold it to have a good flavor in the middle. Okay. So that's what you have. A little bit of almond. There we go. Now that's the way I fold it here. I'll go like that. And at home, like you can do it certainly like halfway. So now. It's a tricky you, bit. Yeah, the tricky bit. You finish to cook a little bit like that because you, what you want is a nice color again. Color is very important and that will redefine the taste and the flavor who goes together. Oh, and you flip it just like that. Okay. Now, again, the finishing. A little bit of butter, nicely, just like that. And you see, on this occasion, I don't have to add sugar because the apple are already sweet. I, I, you know, when you cook them, you add a little bit of sugar and butter. So, what I'll do now is I apply a little bit of caramel to it, a little bit of almond. An ice cream will be nice as well, you know, like uh, uh, so you have different texture. Again, what's important is to 
find in one dish the texture that you will enjoy. I'm sure, you know, kids and the family will be happy with that. Okay. So uh, have a good Tuesday pancake day, crepe cake, crepe day. I noticed you didn't bring back any. Well, it's difficult to bring back. They'd be soggy at that stage. Uh, I even still. And I ate that one that you saw. Oh, did there. you? I did. I'm not surprised. Yeah. It looked gorgeous. That's, I can't why, make it. that's why I'm 11 stone. <laughs> Practically beating you at this point. <laughs> Beat me. I'm trying to go the other way, if you please. <laughs> anyway, I am allowing myself a couple of pancakes today. And I am 11 stone. <laughs> <For real. laughs> After the break.